Hello everyone, it's Maria here from Peppley Rose Paper Crafting. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you so much for joining me. I would like to thank everyone that watches my channel. I appreciate every single one of you, so thank you all so much. appreciate all of my subscribers, old and new. And um, I'd like to um, thank those that leave me beautiful comments. They're very encouraging and they help to keep me going as well. So thank you all for watching. And also those that buy from me, um, thank you so much because this also helps for this content, free content, to keep going. Um, if I don't have customers, just like anybody else, um, then I'll cease to do this because, um, yeah, it, it, it just helps to put a little bit here and there for me to purchase more products so I can show you how, how to um, enjoy your products. So it's something I enjoy quite a bit. So thank you all very much for your support. I really appreciate it. Today I'm going to be uh, making a card using the Mountain Air Bundle. You can find this in the new mini catalogue and I'll be using the matching dice with this and a one inch circle punch which is what you need to cut out the sun or the moon image from that. And these are the cool reversible stamps. So what, what happens is with your stamp you have a detailed image and then you also have a plain image and you just reverse them and they work very well together. Now if you remember with my last video I did this gorgeous uh, tropical themed card and um, I had initially made this panel and I used the corrugated 3D embossing folder with this. Um, and then when I proceeded to do, you know, put together all of my die cuts and so forth, it didn't look very good to me, it was a little bit much. So I thought today I will use this uh, panel which is what I promised in my last video and um, yeah we'll put together a card using this particular bundle. Initially I had made like a tropical theme idea for this but I've decided to turn it around and do something a little different. So I'll show you step by step what I'm going to do um, and I will link the video below which will show you how I made this panel. Alright so we'll get started on our card. What I'm going to use today is a Whisper White thick card base. This is half an A4 and then I scored it in half again and that makes um, an A6 card base here in Australia. And I think it's the same in the UK as well so, and Europe. So I'm just going to use my bone folder and burnish the score line. Now when I made this it had um, it's got like a larger border from up the top and the bottom, but on the sides it is very slim. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my mini guillotine. How cute is this? Um, if you join Stampin' Up! now during celebration, the mini guillotine cutter is uh, what you receive. So I'm just going to trim off a little bit, um, about an eighth of an inch or so, or yeah, about an eighth roughly give or take and um, because this is a guillotine and because I have already embossed this this will cut it without really destroying your embossing so this little guillotine cutter is very very handy for th little things like this so you don't need to have a large cutter so this is really cute I love this <laughs> it's adorable and it cuts it just like butter isn't that cute um, and I think I may have been a little bit crooked. <laughs> so I'll make sure that I do that again. There we go, straighten that out. Too easy and the embossing is still intact. So love my guillotine cutters, they're really cool. So I'll just now check how this looks. And I like that it's a much more even border. I might take off a little bit from the bottom, so I'll just use my guillotine again and I'll straighten this up. Shall I go from the bottom? And just a little bit more, make sure it's right up there and cut. Super duper cute. Now let's see how this looks. Much better. Okay. See, I like the, the borders more even. So that's it with the guillotine cutter, but how cute if you want to receive it. Join now during celebration and you'll get this cutter in your starter kit. All right, so I've got here um, some colored cardstock. So I've got um, Crush Curry, uh, Basic Gray and Basic Black. 
really nice, um, you know, colours. I love them. So with the crushed curry, I'm going to use this moon image right here. And I'm going to use my Versamark ink pad to ink this up. And before I do that too, I'm just going to rub my embossing buddy over the top of that to get rid of any wet bits and I'm not sure if you can see that but it's stamped that right there so it gives you a nice water color a watermark image there then I'm going to I'll just put this to the side for a moment keep that safe with this one here I'm going to stamp that detailed mountain image and again I'm going to be using my Versamark ink pad and I'll just stamp that down here just hold it there can see that watermark image there and then I'm going to do the same with the basic black so if you've got little bits and pieces that you've done for another project and then you don't end up using it keep it aside and then um, have a little think about what else you might do with that keep it for a while I kept mine for nearly a week before I decided what I was going to do with it I'm a really slow crafter so yeah <laughs> all right oh yes I have to rub my embossing buddy and I think I forgot to do that with the basic gray but we'll see how that goes all right and now I'm just going to stamp that right here I like to use up all of my scraps that way you can preserve your cardstock okay I think that's turned out well so just give that a bit of a wipe with my chamois give that one a wipe too all right I'm going to grab now my clear embossing powder okay I'll use my crush curry one first okay so that um, took it very well now this is my basic grey so that turned out well there and then the black one oops And I get a bit more powder okay so what I'm going to do off camera is heat emboss all of my images and I shall be back so I've just finished heat embossing that so if you can see that detail it's beautiful now my clear embossing powder has been contaminated with I think a white <laughs> or a little bit of glitter so you will see a little bit of that but that's okay um, and I've got this now with the basic grey that looks great with the basic grey don't you think nice and that's it with the crush curry very lovely so what I'll do now is I'll grab my one inch circle punch and I'm going to cut out my Sun so this is going to be like a sunrise or a sunset whatever you want it to be and I'll just cut this out now with my punch okay and we have a perfectly cut Sun and then I'm going to get my big shot and we're going to cut out the mountains and the trees that I've got there as well. So we'll do, in this case, one at a time here. And what I'll do is I will um, start cutting this out and I'll speed this up. Just so I don't waste your time watching it and I'll put a bit of music. So enjoy.
finishing up poking out some of these detailed pieces. Some of them are quite stubborn um, because they're just so tiny and um, I want to be careful not to lose the detail. So I'll get rid of any bits and pieces that are lying around. But I think I've pretty much done it. There's a little hole here. Yeah, these are just tiny, tiny little holes. Okay, so that's all done. Really nice and detailed. So I've just finished all of that. I think that turned out just beautiful. And there's a bit here that didn't come off. There we go. All done. So beautiful. Love it. All right, so I'm going to bring in my card base and all of my little bits and pieces. And we're just going to glue everything down. Now, um, I'm going to leave mine without a sentiment. I'm going to keep it blank so um, I can use this as a masculine card or, you know, or thank you card. Whatever you want it to be, it will be. Really cute. Um, so I'm just going to stick this embossed piece down. I'll have that up there like that. Oh, actually, mm, I was a little bit too quick to do that. I should have stuck these down first. So I'm going to stick, take that off. So I'll take, yep, just give me a second. I'll be back. So I stupidly added glue before I stuck down my pieces because I will need to trim the edge of them. Now I've got my silicon craft sh uh, sheet. What is it? The silicon, yeah, silicon craft sheet from Stampin' Up. And because it's got glue at the back, I'm going to put that down so I don't ruin my desk. So it comes in very handy. So for this, I'm just going to add, just do a little bit of a placement with my stuff. So I think, yeah. All right, so I'm just going to cut this with my little guillotine. <laughs> oh, geez. It's funny when I think out loud. Weird. All right, just take that there. Stick this down the bottom. Just to add some extra black. Like that. And then I'll do that. Yep. Okay. So I'll just add that there. Yeah. Give myself options. I'll put that up here. Put that behind. Might actually put mine over there. And it's good to use liquid glue with this, um, especially with uh, embossed panels, because um, that way you can ensure it will stick down. I think I stuck it too early, uh, a bit further down. Yep. make sure I stick these down. Sorry, I'm a bit silent. <laughs> I've got to talk a little more. Anyway, pop that right down. And because it's quite dimensional, um, it just doesn't stay down. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my scissors, my snips, and I'll just trim the side. 
You can also use your um, guillotine for that, but um, I'm not going to do that because of the glue and I don't want it to gump up the blade and the actual part there, so I'll just use my scissors. This can easily be cleaned. Okay, just take off these bits and pieces. And I'll leave that to the side. Now I can grab my card base and I'll just put some more glue and I'll stick that on the front. Okay. And that looks fabulous. I love the way that's turned out. Really pretty. So it'll give me enough room as well to put a sentiment, you know, up here if I want to or over here, whichever way I see fit. I can even use this as a thank you card too if I want to. Um, you know, the sky's the limit. And I love the dimension of having the sky embossed with that um, embossing folder, the corrugated embossing folder. So I'm just going to add the trees like that. Gorgeous, just beautiful. I'm loving the way this is turning out. So I'll just add my glue everywhere. Liquid glue is really a really good idea with this. So I'm going to put one here. Stick that down and then I'll pop this one like that next to it. Just beautiful. Oh, I'm loving the way this is turning out. It's just stunning. So if you've got a really busy background with lots of colour and you don't want to clash it with too much, um, just making it look too busy, you can also simplify what you put on here. So what would suit this is um, kind of similar colours to what your background is and then having black or uh, a white will look stunning. Okay, stick this down maybe a little bit further down. I think will look better, yeah. And so we just have, I think, you can make this either a sunrise or a sunset. You can go for both. But I think it's beautiful. I love the way that turned out. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. And I'll just give you like a more um, side-on view so you can see how that turned out. The embossing really adds a nice shine to it. And um, it really makes that background look really special. I love the embossed background and then just simplify the colors make them block colors and it really stands out it looks really lovely and I like the idea of the Sun either going down or coming up and um, in the early morning hours or the late afternoon so I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial all of these items the mountain air bundle um, you can purchase from my online store at pebblyrosepapercrafting.stampinup.net you can also purchase um, the craft sheet uh, silicon craft sheet, the cardstock, this guillotine. Um, if you are thinking of joining Stampin' Up, you'll receive this up until the end of March in your starter kit. This is really handy, as you saw, to trim, you know, small pieces of cardstock quite easily without having a large trimmer there. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have any questions, Please don't hesitate to contact me through my online store at peppleyrosepapercrafting.stampinup.net or you can go through my blog and you can message me through there as well. Um, all the links to my previous video where I showed you how to do this panel and um, my online store, everything will be in the description box below. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you and I can't wait to see you again next time. Have a lovely day. Bye.